Hi, and welcome back to Circles Theory. Today we are continuing our discussion on Rollo May. As we look at his book, The Courage to Create a Fascinating Existential Perspective on the Psychoanalytic Theory. Rollo May poses some fascinating ideas to us today, specifically on what is an art and a symbol. Who is a rebel? And what does it mean to disengage with societal norms and propose a new idea? What does it mean to be the artist or the saint, as he calls it? These are the ideas that we will explore today in Circle Theory. That's what it's gotta be this time. Yeah. Sun starts to set and the moon shall rise, shall rise. So the first idea I want to discuss is specifically on the courage to create. This is where we left off last week. We discussed what it means to discover new forms and to look beyond one's time and how that no new pattern in society can be built without this specifically. Society is built on dissecting, removing, and changing ideas. We ultimately look at what has decayed and challenge it to create a new idea and become a new symbol. This reflects it well in the idea of Kronos, one of our Mythos videos. Besides that, we step into what does it mean to truly be this individual, to be artistic, to create something new. What's interesting in this is the degree of creativity and courage is directly proportional to the level of change. The greater the shift, the more we wish to destroy, change, and rebuild, the greater the elevation of the individual. Those whose present most directly and immediately is threatened by the new forms are those who are challenged by the artist. The symbols that they develop and identify are in direct conflict with the vast majority of current norms. Those individuals have received a lot of names. We have called them heroes and prophets. We have called them artists and we have called them saints. They are those who are able to live out their imaginations. They are able to understand, identify, and see a new world and engage with it. To be able to reflect it in some way, whether that is artistically or another type of creative form. And these are interesting. We see this most vividly in the myth, in the story. Plays, films, media, and stories do not tell us, but they show us what this individual is and how they work. This is why stories and mythos are so important and discussed so much in this film. In this series. This is all expressed within what Jung understands as the collective unconscious. We carry basic forms. This engages with an idea Plato proposed about this type of ethereal realm, abstract understanding of concepts, that the, everything has an original blueprint and what he calls the forms. The artist is an individual who is able to engage with these and understand a new meaning for them. In viewing art, when we create something new, what we develop is a way for an individual to engage with these forms and take a new meaning through our ability to engage with something so abstract and outside of ourselves we are able to develop a new idea and transcend language and present that to individuals in a way that connects us that are in their unconscious and then through viewing the art we are pulled into a task besides logic we are pulled into the inner soul of our being where we can assess meaning and the ideas associated with the concept. This is the purpose of the created, creative act in which we are able to reach beyond our own death. We're able to create a new idea that can extend past ourselves to develop something more powerful than the individual, an idea that may transcend your time, is something that is worth passing on to the next generation. There is a connection here between creation and destruction in which we destroy a part of what we know in our world to usher in something better for the next. This is the act of art and the purpose of symbols. Every, creator of, every creative encounter is a new event. This is an engagement and it requires a new act of courage. Every time we are willing to look at our reality, question it, and develop a new idea, we are in itself requiring a level of courage to act against it. This is what Rollo May asks us to digest. 
Though, to understand it and understand how this is dissected unconsciously, we must ask, what is the conscious? This will be the concept of our video next Tuesday, so please stick around as we dive into the concept of the consciousness and how that relates to our creative being. Besides that, please check out another video. They come out every Monday through Friday. If you like any of the ideas here, please subscribe, stick around, show a comment. I would love to dissect this as I develop my thesis, but... Either way, I will catch you tomorrow.